Hi, this is Eric Itis, CEO of PuttPod, and I want to give you a quick run through of the PuttPod mobile app. Uh, I've already logged in, and you can do that either by creating an account or by logging in with Facebook. And then the next thing I want to do is pair my PuttPod Wobbler toy with my mobile phone. So if I tap on Add Toy, there's a little animation showing you how to turn on the toy, and then when you tap Pair Toy, it goes and connects to the toy that quickly. And um, now the, the toy is paired with my phone. And it's asking me here if I also want to pair a Bluetooth dispenser. And I'm going to select yes. And then uh, select pair dispenser. And it uh, is extremely quick also in connecting with the Bluetooth dispenser. Now that the toy and the dispenser are both paired, I can tap on play now. And that's going to take me to a screen that lets me make some decisions before the game starts. So you can see here that I've got the reward selected and there's, uh, you can select for multiple rewards and you can enter your own uh, food reward if, if, if you know, and you can enter, enter the calories of that. You can also select from different treat sounds. And so I'm gonna change it here from the squeaker to the treat bag. And you can see the status of the toy in the dispenser. Uh, there's a switch that lets me either play the game with or without the dispenser. So there I just turned on the use dispenser setting to use the Bluetooth dispenser. But for now, I'm going to show you how it works even if you don't have a dispenser. So if I click start to start the game, now the game's going to start and it picks up from where it left off last time. And at this level, the first level, all you have to do is get close to the toy and it's going to give the, the dog's going to get a reward. And I've got the toy set next, next to me here, so I'm, I've been triggering it. And um, you can see these plus and minus signs next to the current level and next to the time interval let you uh, decide what level of difficulty you want for your dog and there's little text descriptions there that can that explain what the challenge is so I just moved it to level four and if I change the time interval I can either bump it up or I can bump it back down and those combinations of the the task at the level and the time interval that the sound has played combined to make the game more more or less difficult for your dog. Um, <clears throat> if I tap the toy, whoops, if I switch it to level two, and I just tap the toy, you'll see that the screen's going to flash again to tell me to give my dog a treat. So he did the right thing. I just tap the toy, and that, that's an indicator for the right thing. And you can see that the calories just increase, so I just threw him a kibble. Um, and then it's going to keep going up because these, these treats, and as they're entered, are one, one calorie per treat. And you can see the, uh, the elapsed time, so you can keep track of how long your dog is playing and how many calories they earn. Um, so now if I hit uh, the stop button, um, it's going to stop the game, and that's going to take me back to a dashboard that shows me um, all the stats for different games that my dog played, different sessions my dog played. And if I want to share out a... Uh, the results of a session, I can go click on the share button and then maybe tap on Facebook and our app will automatically generate a um, graphic for your Facebook post that includes the stats of how your dog played. So here I could type something and then um, just post and now I've shared my dog's success with the world and all my friends. Uh, so that's, uh, that's a quick run through of Pup Pot and the mobile app. Uh, and it's, as you can see, it's a game that keeps getting harder as your dog gets smarter. Thank you very much for, for watching our video.